right, it's 2.30 and we've saved the best for last, right? Right, Robert says we're saved the best for last. Robert's from Alpha Networks and he's going to talk about uh, some of the uh, hardware that uh, they have contributed and will be contributing uh, to Open Compute. And he's going to be backed up by Alan Jen, right? Okay, in the wings just in case. So take it away, Robert. Okay, can I, can you hear in the back? All right, good. Today I'm talking about is the, uh, as the title say, Alpha Network, 10 gig, 25, 100 gig for the data center and the telco market. So remember this uh, title in here, okay? What is missing in here? Okay, networking, what else? 40 gig, good, what else? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, oh yeah, here you go. Thank you, Carlos. Now, another question. What do you think about the data center and the telco market of our day? Expanding? Yeah. Exploding. Wow. Okay. Anything else? Yes, yeah, a lot of choice. Hmm. Good. Yeah. Sometimes confusing. Yes. Yes. Emerging technology. You know the telco and the data center. That thing is getting closer and to closer. What else? Standardization, yeah, standardization. And we hopefully we can get to the point that we have standardized switches, okay? All right, so move on. I'm gonna give you a status update and then followed by the uh, four skills that we already contribute and we already uh, talk about that with the general ordinance. So real quick, it will not take you too much of your time. So you can go home and rest today. I give you a break. All right, so this is the past history. And as you see that we have is the 10 gig and the 40 gig, and has already been uh, contributed in both 15 and 16. Now today, uh, we announced another four skills. Actually, this four skills is very easy to remember. These four skills is actually three big skills, okay? So one is the Kumaran, one is the Tomahawk Plus, and two others is identical Berberic, all right? I'm going through the first one, <clears throat> Tomahawk Plus, 25 gig. Very typical, Tomahawk Plus, 967, and then is a 48 port, 25 gig, and then 100 gig. That's of course, you know, nowadays we have to have 100 gig, right? And then modular uh, CPU. Uh, in this one particular, we have the Intel and Broadwell DE, all right? And redundancy, well, we don't need to talk about that. Everybody doing the same thing. And then uh, front to back, back to front airflow. Uh, some particular about this chipset, I mean, this solution is uh, we have the BMC and then two specific uh, CPU plus the TPM. And I still remember the day that uh, we made one of the uh, projects and little realized that our customer wanted that TPM. The question was brought up, how do you protect that console port? Somebody can plug it in and then mimicking and then can change or download some uh, malware into the box. Here come TPM. It's a block diagram, very simple. 
and just with the uh, uh, 967 and then with uh, the rest of the components. And this particular one is, uh, we just show you the Rangeli. And then in Rangeli, uh, because uh, of the, uh, uh, the traces, we have to add some retimer, the A2381. Okay, question? Okay, we can move on. So this is the uh, front and back of the ports. Now, question. What do you see in here so catching your eyes? Is that the port that very pretty? Or is there something else? Okay, handles. Yeah, handles. What else? Yeah, yeah what else? particularly the LED, number three in here. Okay, why that LED is there in the hot swappable power supply? Yeah, here we go. No wonder Carol is, you are the, you are the top engineer. <laughs> yes, exactly. So you can identify which uh, um, fan tray you need to swap out. Okay, which one's good, which one is bad. All right, typical system inside when you open the box and all you see is all the number there and why is the numbers there? Modulization, we build it in module. Why being modulized? So that we can interchange with other skills, save money and hence save costs for our customer. Build a more effective cost of systems, all right? So more about some of the component. And this one here is the BMC. So this particular BMC is actually uh, to manage certain things in the system. Uh, the other day, actually yesterday, I went to a booth and looked at the, the PC that, I mean the server system that break it down into pieces. Well, by that I mean they have a pieces that is server, I mean that is the CPU only, and then they have another one that is called, called the uh, um, PCIe switches. And then there's another uh, one LU of the storage, and then one LU of switch. And then I scratch my head, why do, why, you know, we see those uh, standard server, but this one is so different. Hey, this is bring about why we have this BMC in here. You think of that, it's a system that break it down. BMC is managing the storage, is managing uh, the, uh, the other parts of the server. So this BMC is actually applying for that reason. Okay, good, move on. So this one, the TPM, uh, as I said that earlier, and we really need it. Today, this uh, world of ours is very insecure, I'm not saying that it's secure, so particularly protecting the ports. So in here, those are the, some of the functions that we have for the TPM parts in the system, and it's a uh, protecting the boot, security boot, boot, and also some protecting the uh, firmware, etc. Okay. So from here on, everything is you can sleep for a little bit because it's all typically the same. Okay. So the next system I'm bringing is a, a Dune based Kumaran QMX. Typically. We highlight what the switches are, and it's a Kumron, and it's 375, and different kind of configuration, and then with the processor, okay? And then we just highlight some of the components that we use there. The BMC, different processor, and then the name for the TPM that we use. Question? 
Good? All right. So this is a typical broad diagram. And the only thing that I really want to highlight is the TCAM. So as this Kumaran is used for telco market, and we need to have the deep buffer, OK? The reason, who, do you know who, why we use a deep buffer, particularly in the telco market? Yes, exactly. Because there was many, a lot of uh, spiking uh, data in the, uh, uh, in the uh, telco. And to be able to uh, store up those spiking data, we need to have a TCAM, all right? So that each one will not, each byte of information will not be missed. OK, again, uh, it's typically how it looks like, front and back. And because it's used primary, primary for the data center, and we normally would uh, use everything on the front. By that, I mean all the access port is in the front, and nothing uh, other port is in the back, fiber or anything. Nothing in the back. The reason because in today's data center or the telco, we want to control the environment. So how do we control the environment? We use the hot code aisle, okay? So that is why all the data center is, you know, typically just build it on one side with the operator easily access to those front ports, okay? So again, typically what it looks like inside and modulized, so it can be reused. And then talking about that specific deep buffer. So in here, what we want to highlight is uh, which we use, we design the deep buffer to its maximum capability. I'm sorry, I, fact, I think I'd make a mistake. The previous one is a DRAM. So here, talk about the TCAM, OK? So in the TCAM, uh, this is a new generation of TCAM. And uh, we only use, need to use one TCAM, OK? So moving forward is the uh, Mervic base switches. Mervic base switches is a stripped down version of Tomahawk. So you can essentially understand why Alpha moved in that direction, cost. So again, typically, we will highlight you know, what the max is, and then the, uh, the other configurations to follow. And then in this one here, uh, we don't support what, what is missing. OK, what do you You're right. What, what else? The EMC, why? But what the EY would we choose to miss to to take it out? Uh, yeah, here you go. By the time you get out of here, you know all the cost, cost, cost. Alpha made it. All right. So broad diagram. Uh, Rangerly. Well, pick up cost. And then front and back. And this is for the fiber version. And it's a typical module. Now we go to the copper version. Same thing, typically, the same. Same kind of things, so you can easily see why we choose that way, okay? Everything modulized, just different configuration. And then the broad diagram, very simple, all right? And then copper, okay? 10 gig copper, all right? So inside, nothing really you know, different. OK, take home. So Alpha is addressing the current market of uh, the 10 gig, 25 gig, and 100 gig. And we have uh, four SKUs, and 25 gig, uh, and then the uh, Kumaran for the uh, telco market. And the other two is Merrick Base to, uh, to be cost effective, to make the product. And then lastly is the modularization. 
uh, I mean, the module design that we, uh, we do, okay? All right, question? Uh, yes, we do. We do looking into the... Uh, Can you uh, repeat the question? Oh, okay. okay. Uh, his, his question is, are we looking into different kind of chip vendor, uh, barefoot and caviar? Yes, we do. Uh, as a matter of fact, we look into it because it is required by you, customer. All right? I have a question. Okay. Uh, you mentioned the BMC mm -hmm. and using OpenBMC, right. which is basically uh, Linux. Correct. Um, and so are switch vendors like Alpha taking responsibility then for upgrading? Uh, it's not uncommon that occasionally uh, security vulnerabilities are found in Linux and uh, they have to be fixed. So is, are, are you going to take responsibility for being able to upgrade the BMC code? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, we are responsible for when we do our or diagnostics. So we, what we do for this kind of switches, we are only basically make it for our OEM customer. Mm -hmm. We are the manufacturer of the OEM customers. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? All right. I think that's a wrap then. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to thank uh, everyone else for coming to the uh, networking workshops. I hope you got a lot out of it, and uh, also the entire conference. And we will see you on the calls and at the workshops throughout the year. Thanks.